Hi, Chris Kelly here again with Clinical Training Consulting System. So, we've talked a lot about muscles of the body, to the back, and some of the research and four horsemen, um, the four primary stabilizers. I want to talk about the local and global muscle systems. And this is something that was proposed by Hodges, or I think Diane Lee on Canada. And local muscles are muscles of the transverse abdominis, the obliques, and the QL and multifidus. And the global muscles are the lats and the rhomboids. Now the difference between local and global, local muscles stabilize, so they stabilize at the pelvic girdle. That means in the front and the back, whereas the global transmit force. So if we take a look at that, what by stabilize? Well, if someone has an injury, we talked about transabdominus is typically shut off, it's hard for someone to contract it to see the therapy. They start to get it, they get the pelvic tilt down. They can get this working, but they can't get their posterior muscles, the multifus and QL to work and stabilize here. So when I say stabilize, I'm talking about contract and create like a cushion, or contract and slowly contract around the pelvic girdle. That's what we mean by stabilize. When I talk about transmitting forces, if we look at the spine and the lats, which go from uh, T6 to T12, they come up into the intertubal sulculus of the humerus, that muscle does ipsorab rotation and extension. So it does ipsorab rotation, which is here, and extension of the humerus. The rhomboids do, again, retraction, which again is this. <clears throat> and then also we talk about the low trapezius, which is down here between T6 to T12 accordingly, which is part of that global system. So again, I think just understanding between these two systems, they work together, they work to balance and transmit forces and move the body, that there's usually this function of one area, it's gonna affect the other. If someone has really tight lats, they're gonna have difficulty again rotating and extending their spine, and that's gonna be transmitted down to the lower back. All right. The next section I'm gonna talk about core assessment and a couple different core assessment techniques, evidence-based, simple, easy to use with your